Happy Wednesday! What's up, Wednesday? It is Wednesday, Catherine! I got... Catherine is the ultimate devil fighter, let me tell you! The ultimate devil fighter, yes. is that what you said? She's a woman of prayer, that's Absolutely. for sure! Leanne, how are you? Leanne! I have the ultimate Diane, fly swatter. Diane, the woman of prayer. Yes! Another devil fighter. Yes, Woo! yes, yes. Hi, Daisy. Ooh, Daisy, Jason! How are you? Hey, Daisy, cool post this morning. Jason, what's up? I have a tiger, that's right. That's right. David! What's up, David? How are you, buddy? Linda! Texas! Hey, Linda, you guys having a hurricane? Matthew, I think there's a hurricane it's on its way. Uh, John Funk, what's up? I think, there's a, I think there's a hurricane morning, in the Gulf Debbie. of Mexico, so all, all of our friends on the Gulf Coast area yeah, we are, are bracing for some wind and some rain we and all of that stuff. Alex. Yeah. So, Good morning, Leanne. Good morning, Thomas. Hello, everyone. That, that fly just tried to fly in my ear. Ew. Yeah. What I'm if telling you laid eggs in there? Oh, no, stop it. <laughs> totally gross. You're Flies don't lay eggs. <laughs> yes, they do. They're maggots. <laughs> what? Yes. Ugh. Maggots are baby flies. Horrible. Oh. That is horrible. Oh. Horrible. Good morning. Jeez, it, see, we're in the other ear. Ty, it's oh close my to you gosh. now. Holy smokes. Ian was up until five working on a payroll project. Ooh. Ooh. Payroll project. That just doesn't sound like. This fly... <laughs> I'm telling you, I got Here, a weapon. No, don't, don't hit me with it. No, I'm not gonna. Hit, I'm not gonna hit you with it. Yes. Uh, ooh, Levi. What's up, Levi? How are you? Happy. Bam, bam, oh, bam. I gotta pull up the comments. So what's I up, like comments? See everyone. Yeah, two hurricanes. Pray they don't collide. Yeah. Amen. Amen. David. That'd be like it'd be like a double portion Dad, of hurricane. That would not be good. Happy birthday, Matt. Matt's birthday. Come on. Woo. Hey, how's Thomas doing? Here. You good, bud? Good. Hi, Carol. How are you? There we are. There we are. There we are. Everybody's uh, coming on. Carol. Welcome. Everybody's. Hey, you got to turn that down. Sorry, you got to turn sorry. that down. You're getting crazy. Turn off your Wi-Fi. Getting crazy <laughs> over up in here. So anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. What else? Who else is coming on? Melissa. Hi, Melissa. Oh, one of the hurricanes gone. That's good to hear. Good. I feel cool. like I'm <laughs> Kim, Kimberly Peterson. Hey, What's going on? See. What a proof of what? What does she need I, proof of? Watch out, it's on the face! Oh man! Oh my gosh, baby! It I literally landed you. right on your glasses and I had to hold back. Uh, listen. I had to hold back because I was gonna whack Anyway. <laughs> oh boy. Don't do it. Huh? An old friend of mine found a yearbook photo of you guys from when you graduated. Holy smokes. Okay, is that high school? Because so older than I am. Hold on, would that be class of 88? My yearbook? Because that would be class Melinda. Because <laughs> that would be Melinda had the tightest perm uh, curls. Okay, listen. My mother was a hairdresser. Yes, she was. And we did several experiments. She did several experiments. Oh! Ah, it's it was over. No, no, give it. Oh, shoot. Where was Babe. it? It was on my hat? Babe, you gotta let go. No, I'm not letting go. You right. hit me with it. So. Okay, so your hair. Let's we're talk done. about your no, hair. No, we're done with the hair. No, I wanna know, because your no, mom was a hairdresser. Hair. One time you went to camp. Babe. She cut it all the way off so that it would be easy for me to do because it was like elementary school camp. Right. I look just like my brother. <laughs> Which he's handsome, but I didn't wanna be handsome. That's true. That's true. That's okay. true. So, no, so no. I wonder what yearbook it is. I wonder if it's like. Yeah, tonight is the worship night. I'm so excited. So excited. So excited. Worship yearbook. Leanne has our '87 yearbook. Absolutely. Class of '87. I don't think I was in high school in '87. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You were. You were. Okay, barely. Okay, maybe you were in eighth grade. Yeah, maybe. That's true. She might. Belinda might have been in eighth grade or '87. Annie. Annie, what's going on? Okay, worship night tonight. What worship time? Seven, 7 p.m. O'clock. Okay. All right. So expect miracles, expect healings. healings, expect, man, expect God to move. Daisy got shaved for having lice. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's not funny. I'm not it's laughing. It's not funny. I'm laughing with you. It's not funny. I'm not laughing. Daisy, I had it before not I at you. When you I got lice? When I was My sister got lice like three hey, times from chickens. Hey, you can't talk about her. She's not here. I never got lice one time. I wouldn't touch this. And Melissa's like 80s perm in the bowl cut. No, Come no, on like now. I had What's that called? Inverted Bob. Oh gosh. Thank you, Jesus. 
This fly is obsessed with my ears. All right. Okay. So, so I had a couple thoughts. I did too. Three spots left in our registration okay. for tonight. Three spots left, y'all. But hey, even if, even because they'll all be gone. Even if you come, I'm going to go, we're going to go out yeah. in the parking lot and search for people that just need prayer right now. Because Greg's just, well, <laughs> search. What's that? They are going to have a team out there. Yeah, we're going to have a team out there we'll and pray signs. for some people. Mm -hmm. We're expecting we'll uh, be live worship great night. things. Carrie, you won't be live. It will uh, be recorded sorry, for it's recorded though. for all of our online stuff. So we, we, what we Services. do is we do record it, uh, but then we edit it and chop it all up and use it for all of our online stuff. So Shut yes, up. yes, yes. What? Gasoline for your lice. What? Like put gas in your hair? I didn't know that. Holy moly. That sounds mm -hmm. like a fire waiting to happen right there. Wow. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, so good. So good. Okay. So, so I've been... I just been thinking a lot about like, I read this quote from Ronnie Doss this morning mm -hmm. and uh, I don't know if y'all follow, fire. I don't know if y'all follow Ronnie Doss, but Ronnie Doss is our good friend. We have him come in and yeah. uh, share a lot of things. And he had this quote about what real freedom is right now. And uh, uh, it was powerful. I didn't see it. And it got me, it got me thinking about um, a message that I did, gosh, well, maybe I have a date on it, but I grabbed the notes. Of, uh, I did it in January of 2017. And so it was a while ago. And, um, and it was a message about look backward, look forward, look upward. Look backward, look forward, look upward. And as I looked at these notes, I thought to myself, man, in the times that we're living in with all the shifting going on, anybody, anybody met anybody that's been been our whole family once covered our heads with saran wrap over mayonnaise. That is awesome. That is awesome. It's like you can have a BLT. <laughs> True, what right? would be the bacon, the lice. LLT. <laughs> anyway, yeah. that's awesome. What's up, Kimberly. Kim? So, um, okay. So, uh, it's, back, that it's that passage in Philippians. I'll read it to you. No, dear brothers, I've not achieved it, but I focus on this one thing. The one thing I focus on is forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God, through Jesus Christ, is calling us. I think in these times, y'all, we've got to press on. Come on, so whoa! What? That fly almost landed right on the screen. Don't almost, hit my phone. almost slapped. Don't, don't I mean, it literally almost landed like right by the lens, and I would have went quick. I, I just anyway. got it fixed. So, 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 like, if you're in a season right now where there's just a lot of, and where there's a lot of shifting, a lot of shifting going on, yep. I want to encourage you about about you know the things that happen in our past that we still think about all the time today. Mm, right. I want you to allow yourself to look backward to bring closure to that stuff. Bring closure to it. Allow, um, allow, God, Lord have mercy. Allow, Bye. Bye. <laughs> allow yourself to acknowledge what actually happened. Learn from the experience. Adjust your thoughts and your life and your behavior, whatever, accordingly, and press on towards the mark that Paul's talking about in Philippians 3. Look backward only to bring closure to the past, yeah. not to relive it, not to rehash it, not to rebuild it. Um, like literally, what is, like here's one of the things I always love to do uh, with different stories of our journey. As I always love to do, what is the title of the movie of that season? Ooh. You got to, you got to, you got to, you think about your past. Rocky. You think, you think <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. So, April, so, Mike. So look backward to bring closure to the past. That brings us into freedom. Hmm. Look yeah. forward to bring momentum in the right direction. That brings us into freedom. What did Jeremiah say? He said, for I know the thoughts 
I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of good, not of evil, to bring you a future and a hope. Ow, what the? So what was that about? No, for real, there was a fly right there. There was no. I, no, there was for real. For there we, was you no. The bag, you'll watch the fly slow mo. I saw, I saw that the airlines are starting to do massive furloughs. Somebody just Ooh. talked about American Airlines giving up yeah. 19,000 furloughs. Sure. Um, that is a lot. And, and so when they're shifting, y'all. Jody's on the list. When they're shifting. All right. All right. Like when your job is shifting or when the location is shifting. There's people moving right now. There's, there's all kinds of stuff going on. Listen, you're, you're probably a time or two going to get tangled up, going to get twisted up. Swipes. On my neck? What? I don't know if that's, if that is. Yeah, it's necessary. I don't know if that's like healthy though. Anyway, uh, yeah, like when I'm spraying. Regular break, showers when I'm spraying. help with the flies. Okay, I was totally going to say that. But, <laughs> but he does. He takes two or three showers a day. Pamela! Oh, yep. Yeah. You know, you know what a, you know what gets flies to break clean. Break it clean. Attracts flies? No, it it gets them. Gets them. Okay. Gets them good. Listen. Men, we don't want you to worry. God we have to look source. forward to bring momentum in the right direction. So while the shifting is taking place and while um things are changing, maybe employment wise, maybe home wise, maybe Hi, Tracy. Hi, Slip. How are you? Tracy. We, we literally have to like know that God's plan is for us. We have to keep that front and center. Like freedom is allowing ourselves to look back at the past for only the purpose of bringing closure. Mm -hmm. If your past constantly gets rehearsed on the, in the present, that's not freedom. That's not real freedom. And, and looking forward to bring momentum in the right direction that releases freedom in our life. Yeah. Um, people have said, hey, the economy is too bad to start a business. Listen, you can flip that to focusing in the right directions. You can say, with the enthusiasm and strengths that yeah. I have, any time is a great time to start a business. It's not the economy, it's me. Mm -hmm. Like that's the shift Shavice. that when we align with God's plans, Yep. The circumstances surrounding us become the leverage we need to put our focus in the right direction, looking forward to bring momentum in what God's called us to do, what his word says, what he's doing in our heart. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's good. Well, I don't know if it's good or not, but I think it's true right now. <laughs> and here's the other thing. Y'all, you got to find some gratitude right now. You won't get more of what you want unless you learn to be grateful for what you already have. Mm. So name three things right now. Three things right now that you could be grateful for. One of the things I'm super grateful for in this season of all the shifting that's going on is I'm super grateful for all of the people um, that have remained close, that have remained connected, I'm super grateful for this small community yes. at 10 a.m. Yeah. You guys have walked Melinda and I through yeah. some of the challenges Ooh, of the last true. six months. Yep. And I know we, in turn, I know we've walked you through some of the challenges. I'm grateful for both aspects. I'm grateful for you here. I'm grateful that we could be a part. Like, gratitude is super important. Yeah. But here's the deal. You look backward to bring closure. You look forward to build momentum in the right direction and you look upward to bring meaning health family church that's, that's good. good that's good that's you look great. upward to bring meaning so whether whatever you eat or drink paul says or whatever you do do it all hi kathy for the glory of god for the glory of god mm -hmm. we're not we're not chasing emptiness we're not we're not chasing things that have no meaning no. um we're, 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 we're going after the, the stuff, the life that brings meaning. So good, Debbie. So good. All y'all are naming like things Church, that you're kids, grateful pastor, for. Pastor, salvation. Man, in times like these where the, when the pressure gets turned on or the circumstances shift, walking Amen. in gratitude. 
looking back for, backward only to close the past, not to rehearse it, looking forward only to bring momentum in the right direction and looking upward to bring meaning to it all. And we do that through gratitude. That's just, yep. man, I'm telling you. Yep. 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 I'm telling you, it's, it's, I think it's an important message right now. That is freedom, y'all. Freedom. Freedom. We need, we need to be talking about freedom right now. We need to be living free. We need to not be afraid of the next move we have to make. Right. We need to not live afraid of what are they going to think? What are they going to say? Man, you walk in freedom. That's what Ronnie's post was about. That's right. Now, I got a scripture. Go, baby, go. I got go. a scripture okay. really quick uh, because we don't want to make this super long. But... Is it long already? Was I, did I get long? I've been no, fighting no, no, off no. these flies. I'm no, telling no, you y'all. Didn't, you didn't. It okay. one tried to fly my ear. The other okay. one tried to fly so my other my ear. The scripture is in Jeremiah. In Jeremiah 31, it says, I'll refresh tired bodies and restore tired souls. Hey. The weary from the journey will get rest. Yes. The sorrowful soul will receive joy. God is in the process right yes, now. Yes, Jesse. Of refreshing and restoring because in that same chapter, it says typically... The mighty men of God surround the saints and camp around the saints and war. But right now is the time for the saints, for the church to awaken and rise up and be on the offense and surround the, the forces of evil, surround the mighty warriors, the mighty men. Yeah, 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 yeah. Use church your voice, of God y'all. Is strong. Yes. Use your real freedom speak is being able to speak. Yep. That's what real freedom Look is. Look ahead. You're not running from an enemy. You're running towards where God has had ha the purpose. Absolutely. The goal. Ooh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Thankful Paula's, for friends and I think it's family. Paula's anniversary today. I saw a <gasps> picture on Facebook. Oh I commented gosh. on yes, it. Yes, her, yes. her and James, like on their wedding day, they're looking all like 20. It's awesome. <laughs> Still look 20. Uh, Still look 20, Paula. You do. Uh, What's up, April? Woo! She said that, that scripture is fire. Fire. I agree. True. And that, that fly, true. that fly that's been hovering around this, he just went by again. That, you keep and hitting it, me. No, it's landing on, on your hat. You I all know. About your hat. You all know that she's just hitting me. She is hitting me because no. she can't. Yeah, no. totally. Totally, totally, totally. Now, now, God's not going to have you move forward unless you're restored, you're strengthened, you're refreshed. Just take a step. And he's going to restore you in the journey. Okay, what, what's your little, what's your quote? I'm not even going to read it. Okay, I'm going to go out on the edge on this one. Someone asked me to name two structures that hold water. I was like, <gasps> well, damn. <laughs> Babe. <laughs> if Seven were her, she'd be like, damn, oh, no, that's, that's why I did it. That's why I did it. She, she. She, she, but this is the dam that includes water. Okay. Right. She always says that. I know. Right? So, it's all good. Okay. All right. Let's pray. Father, thank you for prote Spousal protection. Spousal abuse. Yes, Jason. No. Yes. Bring the suit. Bring the suit. What suit? <laughs> the black one. The black one. I got to do a wedding on Friday. Oh, all right. Oh. Hey, we're praying protection over you, you. Grace over you. Peace over you. Man, protection from a virus, protection from anything that would come yes, to your dwelling. Thank God, you, Lord. pray for provision, God. Lord, we pray, God, for jobs, resources, Lord. Spare, God, Lord, folks from layoffs, God. Lord, show, God, your kindness, God, your grace, your mercy, God, and continue you, to provide, God, for everything that is needed, God. We thank you for our friends, God, and we love you, Lord. We will, uh, we will, uh, God, we just ask God for your blessing now in Jesus' mighty name, God. Amen <laughs> and amen. And amen. Melissa says, Everything. surround us, God, and protect us from these Thank you, Debbie. <laughs> healing. Amen. Yes. Jesus Kathy, name. healing for your sister and, and brother in that accident. I saw those pictures. Whoo, man, that truck was Jesus. tore Jesus. up. Man, so glad that they are alive and recovering. Jessica. That is powerful. All What's right. up, Jessica? How are you? All right, Catherine. We will see you soon, and tonight we will see some of you at the church. Hi, Kathy Olson. How are you? We'll see some of you tonight at the church, 7 o'clock, or in the parking lot, 7 o'clock. We will see you. I'm going to kill that fly right now.